Hey guys, so I'm really frustrated. In an earlier video, I took you through the two different quads that I built, a 210 uh, millimeter um, as well as a 130 millimeter quad. And I want to say this 130 millimeter quad has been fantastic. Um, I've slammed it in the ground, I've slammed it into trees, um, I've slammed it into concrete like I showed you in the other video, and it just keeps on taking. Um, except for the one crash in the concrete where it broke the little plastic standoffs, the only other thing that's broken is the props. You know, what more could you ask for? Now, the 210 millimeter has been a totally different story for me. Um, you know, for the first, for a while flying it, it was just amazingly smooth. It felt really good. It felt locked in. I started learning how to tune quads. I was looking at, um, the beta flight configurations, different versions of BL Heli. Um, I went through BL Heli and set up damp and light. That was really awesome when I first tried it. I felt like I could do a smoother roll all of a sudden. Um, I was really enjoying it. And then all of a sudden, as things were going, I didn't even have a crash, but I started noticing things like twitches. So as it was in the air, I noticed it kind of like do these little yaw twitches and make these really weird sounds. And I could still fly it, but it would just keep doing these twitches and it was really concerning and something was definitely wrong. So then I started playing with things. I started changing all sorts of settings. I put everything back to how they used to be when I first started in case that made a difference. It didn't. Um, I turned off damp and light and I didn't have the twitching anymore, but it made this really high pitched sound that it never made before. Um, and that tells me that something's wrong. And the weird thing is, these things started happening without a crash. Um, I had crashes afterwards, kind of as a result of this. Um, I also started having issues with the uh, video transmitter getting uh, blacked out every so often. Um, it's just been really frustrating. Trying to figure out what it was, I noticed uh, if I looked at the black box, I could see that there was some gyro noise, almost it looked like it would think it's moving, so like the twitching was trying to correct for it, and I almost think the twitching was then making it worse. Um, so I actually changed out the flight controller, and with a brand new flight controller, it, it didn't make a difference. It's the exact same problem. So today, just because I want to try something, I want to see if it makes a difference, uh, what I plan to do here is change the, um, the solder points on the ESCs and the motors, just see if that makes a difference. Um, if that doesn't make a difference, I might actually try changing the motors uh, for new ones to see if that was the root of the problem. So maybe they're vibrating too much and that's causing kind of the problem. I don't have any, um, I don't have any rubber uh, O-ring standoffs to try in case it's just an overall noise problem I can solve. Um, but I'm really running out of uh, options and I'm getting pretty frustrated with this. So one of the most frustrating parts about this is it doesn't seem like it's a motor issue. Um, if I turn it on inside of uh, beta flight and I give the motors a run, you don't hear that twitching. Um, the motors seem to go pretty smoothly. Um, however, if I connect my transmitter and give it a little bit of throttle, um, at certain throttle ranges you'll notice it start twitching. If I keep going on the throttle and push it up, the twitching goes away. If I go lower on the throttle, the twitching goes away. So it's really strange, and, and that's why I'm guessing that it's somehow related to noise into the gyro. Uh, so when I'm testing the motors by themselves, it's okay. But when it's actually on the controller, it's trying to, you know, adjust for itself. If anyone knows why that was happening, um, I'd love to know about it. But today we're going to try to figure it out and see what happens. So if you take a look at the motors, um, everything looks fine in there. There's no uh, dirt or gunk that I can see. Um, coils look really good. Everything looks really clean. Um, hopefully I'll learn more as I keep uh, going with this process. Alright guys, so I'm hopeful I found the root of the issue here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I did this while I was taking the heat shrink off or if it was already like that, but it looks like one of these connectors on one of the motors became a little bit loose. Maybe that's what was causing a little bit of jitter, um, and that was resulting in the issues all around. So 
I'm gonna restart all this up and see if that makes a difference. All right, so now that that's all done and we got everything soldered up, um, I have the heat shrink on there, but I don't want to shrink it yet because I want to make sure it actually works. So let's go ahead and put this back on top of the quad. All right, boys and girls, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if this worked. Um, I decided to put it on as loosely as possible because I'm going to have to take it off to put the heat shrink on fully. Um, but hopefully this resolves the problem. Let's take a look. Let's give it a shot. I'm kind of nervous. Well, I forgot to uh, plug in the receiver, so... That's going to kind of kill that. Let's uh, start all over. All right, the receiver's in there now. Let's uh, let's do number. Let's do uh, try number two. All right, armed and spin it up. Problem solved, baby. Let's rock and roll. All right, so we have it back on the bench. Um, just tried our maiden. It did not go very well. Went pretty much the same as it always did, which was really surprising. Um, most surprising at all was that when I had the props off and I tested it, there was no twitching at all. So I'm gonna spin this up one more time on the bench and see if I, I see the issue without the props again. Yeah, there it is, right there. So it does happen on the bench now for some reason. Um, but it seems to be less bad than it used to be, but it, this is really frustrating. That sucks. So I was finally able to get to the bottom of what was going on here. Um, I don't totally know how to fix it, but at least I can make the problem go away. It seems that basically what I did is if I loosen up the, the, the nuts on the motor enough, so not quite enough where it's wiggling, maybe slightly, the problem goes away. I don't see the jitter. I don't see the problem with the gyros. Um, so I don't know exactly what that means. Like this one, I can't even move, but yet the problem doesn't happen. Um, and that's why when I went through and I disconnected everything and started uh, testing after reconnecting the ESC, I thought I had fixed it. It's just because the motors were on more loose and that's why it was fixed. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna put these, uh, the rest of the nuts on really loose, test it again, make sure it works, then maybe try it outside. Um, maybe the answer is I need to get some sort of motor mounts, rubber motor mounts, something like that. Uh, we'll see. Well, after we got done building up the quad yesterday, the sun went down on us, so we didn't really have a chance yesterday to test it out. So today I'm here at the park. I want to see if it flies any better. Um, it says about 15 degrees out, but you know what? The sun's out, so it feels pretty warm. So uh, let's see how it does. Uh, I'm going to try some slow hovers first just to make sure things seem okay. If things seem okay, I'll try something a little bit more advanced. Uh, hopefully we get the problem under control. Let's wish me luck.
I think I just heard a little bit of twitching or something. Maybe the motor's a little too loose on that one. Probably want to keep a little bit uh, easy here. Bring it in and take a look. Alright, so that was the problem there with uh, the maneuvers. I actually wound up losing, losing a couple of my screws here on the motor. So I think we'll call that, uh, that good for today. It was a lot of fun. The problem was fixed. At least I have an idea on roughly what to do. Um, yeah, so I still call it a success. Wow, 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 wow.